welcome back to the disaster. That we definitely put pants on for. That we put pants yes. on for. Speak for yourself. You have <laughs> jeans on. <laughs> you ruined the illusion. All they can see is up here. That's true. I, but I just checked. <laughs> I, I had to let them know. He narked on you. Anyway, yeah. this is Paradise Rolls. Today we're playing the Arrakis Conquest. And I'm Mark Anthony. I'm the Game Master. That is Shars. I am I, I am Shars. I am not the Game Master. <laughs> I, I am Estes. I am the... Quartermaster. <laughs> that is Chris. Uh, hi, I am Chris. I am definitely not an NPC. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is Zavi. I'm Zavi. My secret is I never wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, that's, that's a good strategy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and so, today, we are continuing the Arrakis Conquest. Last... We're going to do a quick recap due to the um, extreme lateness of our show today. Um, our, our stream stuff was not working out very well for us today. So, um, quick recap. Last time, the adventurers traveled from the southern village um, to the western village on the island of Ku. Um, as they traveled, they noticed that the rot they had seen kind of taking place on certain parts of the island was very prevalent here. Um, the jungle had been kind of, the jungle was, in this area was very tightly packed and really like knotted, all the branches kind of wrapped around each other. Um, but they noticed the, Amber flew up and noticed a bit of like a black haze of kind of almost like a steam um, above the trees. They kind of tested it out. Ambrose shot some crossbow bolts into the trees and noticed there was no tree matter within the tree anymore. It was just full of this rot. Someone, I don't remember who, was it you, pulled out the crossbow bolt? Someone, no, it was me. You pulled out the crossbow bolt? Yeah. Ambrose went back over, pulled out the crossbow bolt, and the rot kind of blew up at him. They had to kind of cut away at this um, this goop that had landed on him, and um, I think Zavi ended up, Zana ended up um, grabbing a little bit of that just to kind of see what's going on. Where is any? Is there any differences going on? Um, but they had figured out they, you know, should probably travel around this, this area of the jungle. Um, went around, got to the western village and, um, you know, were met by some very cautious turtles. Um, anyway, told them they're there for the ritual, participated in the ritual. Um, in which this village, which is situated above Ku's, n like, nape, um, they go into this hole in his shell and walk along his neck to perform a ritual that happens on the top of his head, where they try and communicate with him. Um, so the elders of this village were kind of doing this chant and they were kind of doing this magical spinning that was taking place and row by row on, as everyone was kind of single file, shoulder to shoulder, um, going down the neck, um, the chant continued to just move down the row. Um, some people were melting with this goop, some people were flinging themselves off of Ku's neck in the water. Um, their guide sadly succumbed to the goop, um, the rot, and melted away right behind them. Um, that was a little bit of a bummer. A few of you passed your wisdom and constitution saving throws. Um, the wisdom saving throws were to 
Make sure you can handle it. Um, and the constitution saving throws were to see, can you even like actually hang with having a near deity present in your mind talking to you? A near deity experience. A near deity <laughs> experience. Um, the only person here who did not get to compare notes um, was Zana. We had a discussion about their question oh, separately. Uh, I for oh, you did? Yes. Okay, because so. I forgot to send you what they sent me. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> zombie. No worries. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so you had your conversations. You asked, you asked your one question of Ku. Um, he responded to everyone but Jinjar, who asked a very selfish question, one question which... The, you know, Ku wouldn't know anything about, you know, small humanoid weapons. Anything that would be of interest to, to Ku would be enormous or, you know, magically powerful. Um, so he did not answer Jim Brown. <laughs> but um, he answered the rest of you. Um, Barha almost died. Oh, yeah. And then you left. Um, went back to your new ship and got onto the deck, found out that you had a separate sail on that ship, which you stole from the navy of Agnes Wharf. Um, True. And it apparently had a, basically like a secondary sail that was filled with feathers. Um, and this is where you are. So um, I would like you guys to just take a quick few minutes to discuss with the new question and answer that has been asked of Ku by Zana. Um, that way you can, you know, determine what your next steps should be. Or if you've learned anything of more value that may put more pieces together. The ley line. Oh, right, right. The ley lines. Sure. You were going. You were going to explain ley lines. Ley lines are convergence of energy in, in nature. They uh, are paths through which magic travel travels. Is it in one direction or is it omnidirectional? <clears throat> I think it's omnidirectional, and they're. There are multiples. They cross. Each, they can cross each other. Um, I assume these crossing points are probably like convergences of some kind that could theoretically be tapped into to do stuff. However, <coughs> you know that your home rests upon a ley line convergence. Ah, yes. Also, moreover, I know that my home <laughs> rests <laughs> upon a ley line convergence. Is, is that what creates fairies? Uh, no, actually. So, funny story. Fairies are created from uh, when things go wrong um, in a, in a um, uh, cocoon. For, for a, um, there are these like giant cocoons, and sometimes they'll give giant butterflies... Um, and sometimes they just bore us fairies. Um, sometimes they're chrysalises, chrysalis. Um, so like those of us with more moth-like wings, uh, we come from the chrysalises instead. Mm. Or so I've been told. I've never actually seen it. <laughs> Somehow that's a lot more disgusting than the when mommy meets daddy. Yeah, because, you know, we start off as we caterpillars turn into goop. Not this goop. This is weird goop. The goop on this island. I don't know. These are just the stories I've been told. I've really, I've never actually had a child, so I'm, I'm still considered one quite myself a little bit. So, <laughs> in the world of fairies, that is. Makes sense, um, I think. Doesn't mm -hmm. have to make sense. Fairies don't make sense. Mm. 
Rosanna. <laughs> Uh, Rosanna. So my question. So okay. So we don't. So everybody heard the answer, but not the question. Correct. Yeah, I'm about to ask you your question. <laughs> okay. Well, you want to hear the answer first? Yeah. So that you know. Okay. Um. Well, okay. okay so I asked, I just asked what the rot is, but the answer was the rot is residue left by the loss of of the battles occurring across the universe and here. It's the catalyst for further losses. That's the answer that I received. So it's a result of the losses that we that we've that that have happened, and a catalyst for future losses. Residue left by the losses of battle of the loss of battles occurring across the universe and here. Oh. And catalyst for further losses. Okay. Sounds bad. I mean, so yeah. Why, but why here? Yeah. Like, why, I don't know. And, yeah, how, and why is he yeah. causing it? Like a battle, like, are we talking like a battle on the other side of the globe, for example, that is just happening and, uh, and they're just, it's like the people die and then like more goo kind of shows up here. Is that what we're saying? Honestly, could not tell you. <laughs> I know as much as you do. Like, goo turned people into goo, so. What's up with the coo goo then? <laughs> the coo goo? Uh, we probably should have asked that. <laughs> Balthazar just looks at you, he's like, he said it was a rackus. Yes, but. People clearly turned to goo when talking to him. Wait, what was Arrakis? That's the goo? Arrakis is the something, something, something conquest. Um, I might have written it down in this thing. Oh, yeah. Should be at the bottom, I think. Um, so mine, mine, my question had that answer. Uh, Belthazar's head. Balthazar's well, had it too. Oh, oh. We My didn't... question also had that. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah. Hermit's also had it because of um, talking about goblin scripts, which ha, I've read. Uh, I don't remember what they said. Um, but so, uh, so, uh, Ku came to be to assist the world in the Arrakis conquest. Created, created to assist the world in the Arrakis conquest. The second battle is upon us. So there's clearly been a first battle. Um, Doom Shit Show Destruction was you. Uh, Hermit was just Arrakis, Balthazar. Um, we chased Arrakis across the Astral Sea for thousands and thousands of years. He's been taken over. He's been taking, no, he's been taking over and amassing power. Um, this place is nearly the end. Writing in Goblin Scripts wrote about Arrakis uh, on the West Coast. I think we're still uncertain who we are. We chased Arrakis. So Arrakis is probably a person, right? Arrakis has been taking over and amassing power. I think we might have established that last time. I thought he was a god. I mean, sure, gods can be people too, I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> if they if they wanted to. I'm still confused about the kugu. I forgot to lock my car. It's a car. <laughs> um. Kugu. Hey, Timo, come here. Mm, well. We can find out what the Kugu is. It seems like you just need to take Zana to. Back to my last story. Yes. Right. And namely to quickly retrieve some of 
their research items. You know, that sounds fun. It's a little, it's been a little while since we've done a raiding expedition. Now we have a boat. It could be fun. It also could be very dangerous. We have that crystal ball. Captain, where's your adventurous spirit, Captain? We need to plan this carefully. So the crystal ball. The crystal ball. The crystal ball can. They know. They know we beat them. They. They know we have their ship. Yeah, don't fuck with us. But if we leave the crystal ball, then they wouldn't see where we are. Mm. We need. But if we show up in their ship, they'll know. Who we, it was exactly. us. We need to see a cosmetologist of sorts. Are we getting our hair done? <laughs> I don't have any hair. <laughs> I, <don't have> any. <laughs> I like my pink hair as it is, thank you. <laughs> the uh, aesthetics of the ship need to change. So we need some paint. We need a masthead. We do. We need a name, Captain. Oh, wait. You told me to do it. Glutus, we need a name. <laughs> I told you to do it. <laughs> it could be your girlfriend, your Glutus. <laughs> <laughs> the Gluteal Wife. The Gluteus Maximus. <laughs> 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 the Bluteus Maximus. I don't understand, Seth. Sorry. <laughs> You'll get there. You'll I don't. Get there, I don't know what hype, 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 hype means, but that sounds really fun. <laughs> we got a bunch of hypes. <laughs> hypes in the chat, right? Yeah. <laughs> chat hype, chat hype. Um, the. A uh, Bluteus Maximus would be good, and we can just carve a big butt on the front. Yeah. Like a big, <laughs> big round peach of a butt. Why not in the back? Because a masthead goes in the front, Captain. We could do, we could do something new. We could do a We're, second butt in the back. We're not naming it Bluteus Maximus. <laughs> Very much agree. But we need to procure a masthead first, or someone who can craft one. You, rabbit man, go check for dyes. Downstairs. And, go and, and wood. Where we, we need a head. Um, oh, word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> forward. <laughs> we go forward. Subheading. We are moving forward. Chapter one. <laughs> <laughs> moving forward. We set sail to move forward. <laughs> um, uh, um, okay, so uh, I can I can probably help navigate us toward the laboratory. That's probably. We did discuss that we wanted to figure out which was closer, the laboratory or the old orc village, um, because I need those scrolls. We need those scrolls that we foolishly left behind. Whose idea was that? Yeah. Um, who said they weren't worth money? Yeah. I don't have a like an actual tool that can measure, that can like sh show them, or anything like a magnifying glass or something that, I mean besides the sextant which I don't really want to use yet. It's just, it's just that, like there isn't like a, um, oh sorry we don't have a sound for hydrate I don't know why um, hydrate. Water coffee. <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Water, coffee, alcohol. <laughs> coffee. Um, um, 
Okay, well, Zana, do you know the way back to your lab? We could just go there. We'll just, just start there. We and then and then you can do some experiments and stuff like that on the way to uh to back to that mainland, to the west coast. Do I know my way back? <laughs> <laughs> you may know your way back if you have a map. Do I have a map? You have no map yet. You have was it? Oh, oh, was wait! We need to go check out the captain's wait. quarters and see if yeah, there's a map on this ship. We should have a map. You don't have. Yeah, map we, we have a world map that we Should, found yeah, in Jim, one of the ships. I had Jim Jar take all the maps and important documents from the original ship. Oh, yeah, and he, he jumped. Did. But there's no map of it. What? There's no, like, there's no regional map in there. But we could just go to the captain's quarters. There should be, there should be maps in there. And I'm going to skip away over to the captain's quarters, and I'm going to, like, kick down the door. You kick down the door to the captain's quarters. Um, I mean, fight kick, the monster kick it through. open, kick it open. I'm not down. I don't want to, like, actually damage things. I, I just kind of assume I'm doing this for flair, not actually, like, trying to get, <laughs> get doors off hinges. <laughs> I'm trying to find... Like, make sure it's... it's Opened up a little bit first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bam! Look how badass I am. <laughs> As he does that, I'm like, I just look at him and I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> My wings start glowing this like bright pinkish blue. <laughs> As you, oh, I just poked your eye. I'm sorry. <laughs> As you bust in here. <laughs> You um, you do find a cartography table that does have a map of what you assume is the globe. This is my office. This table is my office. Um, Claim it as mine. I'm unable to get into Incarnate, and I did not take another picture of it yesterday when okay. I kind of adjusted it. There's a scale that I forgot to remove. Um, oh, bummer. Long time ago, but boom. Is it scaled in knots? It is in group funds. It's scaled in group funds. It is scaled in group funds. <laughs> the map is in group funds? Why? Because we all own the map. Yeah. Okay, fine, I'll share. My cursor <laughs> disappeared. Da, 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 oh, that looks like da. this world. <laughs> okay. Um gonna open in browser. Uh I'm gonna go back to the took there, a bite out of that. Africa. Yep. Oh, Australia got weird. Look at that. <laughs> Australia did get weird. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh I don't see where we are though. No, you do not. I did not put a you are here sign. <laughs> I meant like character design. Well, I guess it moves, right? So like they wouldn't have it on here. Right. Um, okay, so looking at this map, would I at least know where the the orc village is? Yes. Roughly. You would know it's on that that western continent. Uh-huh. It's way up in the desert. Okay. And it's not way up in the desert. There's a small. I I can't like. No, I know. A small it's piece. Like, yeah, the um, little, the Madagascar over there. Yeah, it's right, right by Madagascar. All right, cool. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> and where is um, the empire? Yeah, Zana, Zana, come come look at this map. Where where are we going? Agnes Wharf is. Agnes Wharf. I point to the correct position on the map. <laughs> <laughs> it's in that, like... Yes! They're in the same direction. Big head. <laughs> <laughs> the big talking head. Has everyone seen Third Rock from the Sun? No.
Okay. Great. Well, let's go there. Uh, so all we need to do is figure out where we are. So are there any like corresponding constellation charts, star charts? No, it would be kind of unneeded on a ship with such veteran navigators. Um, so Ginger. what navigation tools are there here then? Hmm? What navigation tools are here then? It would just be like normal navigation stuff. The stuff that you have, but not as cool. Oh, okay. Basically. Fine. Um, so then I should be able to like figure out where we are. You should be able to way. figure out where, where you are. Um, make me a, a nature check. All right. And a Down. survival check. Down. 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 Good boy. Okay, that's my nature. Shit. Oh, okay, 15. My nature is shit. <laughs> my survival <laughs> is better. Oh, just kidding, I have a negative. I'm just, uh, um, so 14 for survival. <laughs> yeah. That's stupid. What the fuck is the negative for? <laughs> you know that you're in very, like, a very warm climate where you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so you assume South Star's right, you're somewhere, like, along the equator. Mm -hmm. um, and looking at the map, you kind of understand... If you were to continue in a western fashion, you should run into a large desert area. And if you went east, you should run into a smaller desert area, but a very mountainous. So that, yeah, that puts us over here. Oh. <laughs> We're both like it puts us here <laughs> in different places. Cause look, if we go if we go west and go around, then we get to a big desert area. Correct. If we go east, then we get to a smaller desert area. Correct. So I'm guessing we're like somewhere in this region here. So maybe if we just like go southwest, southeast until we get to, then what we could do? Ooh, ooh! I'm coming up with a plan, y'all. I am not in charge of this expedition, but what if we go in, hit that orc village, and then? Travel through the mountains. I was thinking and about sneak that. sneak in. However, that's a lot of walking, yeah? Oh, maybe we should like park the boat here in this little alcove and then go, go across that way. I mean, we can't bring a boat into the bay. It's true. Even if it's disguised. This continent looks like it fucking sucks. Be able to see the map. It's in group funds. In the Discord, in the Arrakis Discord. So you should be able to take a look. If you can't find it, I can send it to you. Uh, okay, I just found it. Okay. Oh, Shars, you are thinking of going south west or southeast? Uh, I was thinking go go southeast. Um, do you see the little island that's just above? I mean, that's just kind mm -hmm. of like a uh, shaped like this. <laughs> On the the it's the. Uh, Southwest part on the north shore. Um, somewhere in that region is the is the village we need to go to, and then inside the the southern cove is the is the city. Ah, uh, okay. So because I was thinking, if we just go like directly southeast, we'll we'll hit that deserty part probably, maybe mm -hmm. if we're lucky, and then. Uh, and grab grab the, the, the scroll on our way into into town. Although that means we'd have to like try to sail all the way around to get there or go all the way around and try to get in the cove, which I don't think is a good idea. In the bay. 
Thank you. You also, um, having Zana here, Zana is able to relay to you, entering that bay is a terrible idea. Right. Entering that bay is a terrible idea. Oh, good. Thanks, Zana. <laughs> There's, like, outposts at both of the, um, like, little tendrils that reach in. <laughs> and they're within eyesight of each other? Huh? They're within eyesight of each other? They're not within eyesight of each other. However, there are um, parts of the, their fleet there as well. It, they yeah. pretty much have like a barricade going right. on. It's a very, very, very well secured area. Yeah, I think I can. Let me see the map again. Oh, yeah. I should put Discord on my. I think through the mountains is probably going to be the best. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Tunnel. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I would say that is probably the most time efficient. Cool. Do we even need to go to that village, though? The goblin village? If we want ancient goblin scrolls about Arrakis, which Who's we to do. say they're still there? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a shot. I mean, it's kind of on the way. Yeah. We destroyed that place. I mean, surely they're like Ruins where the scrolls might be hidden in now, maybe? It wasn't that big, if you remember. No, I remember. Like, I just, it was like I'm, three tents. I'm, I'm hoping that like something fell on top of them and like protected them from being totally destroyed. Big hope. But at the same time, that still appears to be our best you know, spot to enter and sneak through. Am I familiar with any other goblin civilizations? You know, you would remember from um, when you were sent to go deal with that camp that that northern, this northern area up here, yeah, is sort of goblin territory. Goblin or yeah, like the the uh, horde. <laughs> 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 That's a Troll. that's like a big uh, a big area that you would you know find a lot of them, um, yeah. and that was where you guys went to go destroy was a little um, like outpost that they had been using to send the their people through that mountain to you know be dicks. And what havoc. is this text ready? You said which one? Kale Callison's phone. Uh, it says Zana's lab. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at. Um, uh, just south of the mountains, that thing. That text. Oh, that's Mezrin's tower. Oh, that's cute. What's that? That's Mezrin's tower. You just know that you have a map that has that labeled. There's nothing else to describing what that is. You can roll a history check, though. And it is a very, very high DC. Balthazar! <laughs> DM designed NPC, what do you know about? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll roll this tree. Yeah? I've got some, I've got plus five. Um, you can roll history, but your DC is much higher than his. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I will well how I about will... me? Because I am smart. I am not smart, but I am worldly. So let me see. <laughs> Hold on. History check. Let me see what I can do. I'm not proficient in history, no. I'm going to cheese this. 
and DM's gonna hate me. They all roll history checks. We presumably all have different history. Everyone can roll <laughs> the check. Oh, yuck. Um, I got a 23. I got a 22. I feel like I heard this <laughs> Mizrum's tower, it's the place of power. Need to remember the shit right now, any hour. <laughs> what did you roll? Can I inspire mm-hmm. myself with that? <laughs> you are not supposed to be able to inspire yourself. I will let you. Oh yeah, I'm not. I will let you in this <laughs> instance about because that. You, that's a... you actually sang yourself a song. <laughs> 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 and I appreciate that. Okay, yeah, I was like, I, I forgot I'm not. But Why not? Like, I forgot is that that's not like a real a different thing? subclass, I think. Or, oh, or maybe, yeah. maybe a level thing? Maybe, is it? I don't know. I don't know. I, oh, weird. Or maybe I'm just dumb and I always thought you could and you actually can't. <laughs> yeah, bardic inspiration is not a thing you can hand off to, some, to yourself. It's only to, to others, unless, yeah, there's a different subclass. Because I always remember... But Justin, yeah. yeah. No, I'm you inspire always myself. inspire others. I don't think he would inspire himself. Really? 23. Huh. Okay. I think. Okay, all of you, except for the one character who literally has nothing to do with the real world, <laughs> roll in the 20s. <laughs> you know different... You know different things? Um, <coughs> you, know the, you know this, and it's the same as... It's the same as uh, Seth. Oh, okay. You know... Nezrim as one of the old captains. Oh. Oh, okay. One of the old captains. Of us? Of your, yeah, yeah of your oh. privateer company. Ah, uh, yes. Um, In Nezrim's tower, it's the place of power. <laughs> he has gold to store for now or any hour. <laughs> yeah, remember? Yeah, 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 exactly. You go there to find your treasures and wishes. All you'll find is you're sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> yeah. I, I do remember. <laughs> yes. He actually wrote that song. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was to stave off people coming to steal his stuff. Um, weird that it would still be labeled. And as he says that, um, Zana, your knowledge of Nezrim is... He is probably the most powerful mage that you have ever heard of. Um, he sometimes helps with certain things required of countries, and otherwise, um, you know that people who wander near his area never return. <laughs> oh. Okay. What do you mean he helps with other countries? He, like, he'll help a, he'll help when a country needs help. Um, and that's it. Like, he doesn't help with, like, oh, I lost my cat. It's <laughs> like, it's like big stuff. <clears throat> uh, if a world leader, like, comes to request his service... It not only costs them most of their life, <laughs> but that's the only, like, those are the only people that he'll help, is, is when a world leader comes um, with, like, a council and requests his aid in something. Is he still alive? Do we think? That part, like... You would wonder why the map would have it if not, but like, you know, you wouldn't ever wander near there, so like, you know. I mean, to be fair, like, you know, Chaco culture is on our maps and nobody lives there. Mm-hmm. There's nothing there. Like. <laughs> the only thing Zana would know about that would be that um, the last time anyone was helped was probably 50 years ago. I, mean, I guess it could be immortal, right? Or, or what? 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 What race is he? 
Roll a history check. This one's a high DC. Not many people would have ever. Oh, ding dang human. Not many people would even <laughs> have been within his presence to discuss that. 24. Yeah, not high enough. Damn. Oh. There's. There's a. As far as you know, a, a understanding anyone that meets him and is it able to leave is not able to speak about him. Like, if he wanders into town, no one will recognize him because no description will have ever been given. Yeah, so let's just <clears throat> shovel see, here. Yeah, see where we land and then. Do you see this stuff? Yeah. Yeah, so it's probably a giant city, but. Probably. It's probably a giant, like, orc or goblin city. We know that this area is, like, yeah. orc, goblin. Exactly. Horde area <clears throat> we should avoid. I mean, this whole continent seems like it's a fucking disaster zone for us. Um, where are you from? Eastern, Eastern continent. Up in this region right here, I assume, like, the forest mountain area. This one, this, I'm down in this, oh, right there, that thing. That, where um, all those, like, sparklies are in the western continent? Oh, they don't show up so well on this. Yeah, I I will give you a, the better version. This yeah. is the, this is the, um, like, I, I, when I edit in Incarnate, I edit at the very lowest, like, um, oh, it's the lowest visual re yeah, resolution. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's smart. Because it yeah, it takes way too long if you're doing it in four K. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, bear so with me here. This continent sucks. We're not going there ever. Bear with me here. The ley lines. I am sure. Nezrim's tower rests on one. Sure. Why not? If you rest on a crossroad, I don't have straight lines to. Straight say. line. But yeah, you can imagine it. There's probably, it might curve, but like, there's... Oh, right, because this is, the is the world a globe? It's, um, not exactly a globe. Is it like a pear? Oh, it's flat. It's, <laughs> you know, a globe like this, and then it's been stretched. So it's the opposite of our kind of? No, ours is like that, too. Oh, it's an egg. Egg. It's, 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 it's more eggy-like, yeah. It's the like. equator. Yeah. yeah. It, is, it is very similar to this shape. All right, cool. That you see on this map. Um, another important question. What are these regions outside of the globe? You'll get that when you find a different map. These are actually... Are there actually things? things? <laughs> I Those are... Thank you, asshole. <laughs> specifically, like things. I was just gonna put like some cool, some cool stuff in there. Okay. Just like some informational, pictorial mm. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sure there's more landmass than is I mean, depicted here. Probably. Okay. So boom, and I'm sure there's the volcano. Probably is one too, right? Yeah. And probably Og Og Ogdom's fury, whatever it's called. Maybe Ogma's war. Ogma's war. Possible. Um, I mean, I don't know what this thing is, but it's possible as well. That looks like another phase zone to me. Yeah, which would probably also be on a crossroad. Absolutely. Which, so, I mean, do, do we know which way a coup was traveling mm, yeah. by our deduction of where we are and what direction? And the sun is what? You know, he was going northwest. northwest. All right, so we just need to go opposite of him, and then we'll. We'll surely get there eventually. Yeah. So he's heading towards a convergence himself. Are we going to meet back up with him again, though? So we just have to find him. Or he's going over here. If, if you go northwest, you'll get... I like those maps that are like that. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, would also, you would also know just from like your days sailing... Not many people are willing to truly go and explore yeah. and really map things out. Right. This is not, by any means, a perfect map, and not all civilizations are, like, on. Yeah, I was just saying, I, there's a lot of land maps that isn't filled in, I'm sure. 
Zana, I have an idea to get to your question. How are we gonna get back? Uh, well, I do have this really cool thing. I'm gonna pull out the sextant from the compass and everything. This thing probably could help us get back, uh, but I'm kind of scared of it. So uh, what if we left the, the crystal ball there and then we grab its pair when we're in Offman's Wharf? Yes, I, I think we should definitely try and find that. And then, and then we can use that to get back. But it's Maybe. not going to show us where it, it'll just show what is directly in front of the ball. It's not going to tell us what, how, like where, where it is in space. Mm. Uh, how, do I know how the Armada map works? Where they were tracking our ships? Yeah, doesn't it it's, just track each other's that. ships? It's your, the sextant. So what, what oh, you understand fuck. of okay. that sextant is you put the compass in. Uh huh. You let it bite you. Yeah. It then bleeds onto an enchanted paper. Yeah. And whatever your target is, that's all that's shown on the parchment. Okay. It, so it can be any target. You're just like, coup. Yeah. It yeah. could be okay. coup. Yes. So, it so could be, uh, if, if you could figure out the name of those, like that creature, because you know, or that like creation, you know there, that it said we. Therefore... You could maybe find more of them. Oh, I if wonder you if could they're find goopy it, too. If you could find an actual mm. word for them, which would be <gasps> difficult. Then it could be all of them. Then you could find all of them. <laughs> Perhaps. Is there, Zana, is there a library in your town? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> your, your town is, is very, very well, like, um, you know, there's... There's not many other towns that have as in-depth of research that happens. So anything that's, you know, it's, it's much more modern. <laughs> I guess we'll say it that way. To the library. Yes. To the library. And then I can always get us back to, to Ku using the, the sextant. We sail. We sail. Is there anything else cool in the captain's quarters? Um, you would know that the his dead body <coughs> was up on deck. Um, yeah. He had plate mail. He had a oh, great sick. sword. He um, also the um, the the thing about this this one here. Is they relied much more upon themselves and mm. gave you know things that might aid to the others that being said you mm. assume that the captain is more than just a captain cool. the one you killed is a little bit higher up like i'm not gonna fucking oh, take fuck. your help i'm not gonna like use magic items or anything um that's why you found them on the other ships that were much easier to take uh -huh. in a way. Um, can I have the plate? I don't think I can wear it. Does, it counts as heavy on me, right? Yeah, yeah I can't wear it. Go for it. Is, is there another jellyfish in the captain's quarters? Did I look for that? I don't remember. Um, you no. did not look for no. it. Go ahead no. and no. go ahead and roll me an investigation go. check. Let's see what you find. Nineteen. Nineteen. There's no. There's no jellyfish. There's no researchers area <laughs> on this ship the way that there were on the other ships. Um, but you would find that um, there are, it's almost like there's an armory, um, which does have some decent gear. I want to look into this armory. It, it's basically a full-on armory. Um, oh, shit. Uh, and like any type of weapon that you would want. You do they have have. armor in the or yeah? Do they have armor in the armory? Yes, they have <laughs> chainmail. They have leather armor, and the only 
the only plate male would have just been the, um, the captain of this vessel. Um, All right, everyone, let's go to the armory while we start sailing down and let's see what we can get out of there. You go down to the armory. It's basically the entire bottom level. Oh. And it is just like filled with weapon racks on one side and basically there's like mannequins on the other end. Nice. Um, they're bolted into the floorboards uh, over here. Um, and... You find Jim Jar here because I forgot to bring him back up. <laughs> there is a bunch of uh, there are a bunch of like crates and they're filled with different dyes. Um, hmm. We didn't actually run into this last time, but all of the armor is dyeable and was Ooh. was different colors and like kind of you know pretty cool. It's um, like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> store it and shit. Okay. That's brings me up to twenty. I don't think do I have shield equipped? Okay. Um alright Zana, what do you want down here? Is there a bag of holding down here? Because I would fucking love one. <laughs> Um, I, I will roll for you. You know what? <laughs> I understand. Not with the six. Uh, I'm looking for like grenades and alchemist fire and all that kind of shit. Oh, I can make alchemist fire for you. Oh. Yeah. So I can whip it up like that. You would find explosives. Fuck yeah. Um, there would be about... Eight of them, two, no, probably three of different like sizes. Um, one of them would be just a gigantic crate inside of a big ass fucking crate. <laughs> the big ass crate is actually like this metal box with this big lock on it. And it's chained. Mm. Um, but on top it says, do not touch, do not hit. Do, like, it has a bunch of just warning. Like, leave this shit alone. Um, and you would just kind of assume, because it's right next to the rest of the explosives, that this is one massive explosion. Nice. Most likely for bringing down, like, Bringing up, like open up, opening up a cave or something. Cool. I do have knock. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to look for hand crossbows. There's plenty. I want to grab um, two of them. There are a couple that are really cool. One of them looks like a phoenix. Ooh. And the mouth opens whenever you pull back on the That's the drawstring. Cool. The the mouth of the phoenix opens. And you assume when you shoot, it does something cool. Nice. Um, I want that. But there's there's two of that basically. I, I want two. I want those. Um, and then I'm just gonna. Uh, I want to grab a bunch of crossbow bolts. Okay. Yeah. I, do I need to roll for how many I get? No. Okay. Um, let me roll to see how many would be on the ship, because um, like you know they're just there. You're about to have a whole bunch of time. You got like ninety. All right, cool. Ninety on here. Oh, um, that's fine. Cool. I think. Uh, I I think I also want to take a look at armor, just to see what's down here in the medium armor kind of. Uh, that's so dumb that the light crossbow is two handed. That doesn't that doesn't make sense. Whatever. It's a crossbow, not a... The hand <laughs> crossbow is the only one that's one handed. The hand right. crossbow, yeah. You put it on your wrist, yeah. I guess. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be able to be like, pew, 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 pew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also need to look at medium armor. Yeah, it's too backup. Um, 
I need to have an armor that doesn't give me disadvantage in stealth. Are we trading me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's leather armor and there's chain mail. And that's basically it. Other than the... I don't know what I found. Um, no studded? No mithril. <laughs> I will roll for studded and see. Oh, I'm it wearing scale unlike, mail. Especially within that one. There's yeah. no studded okay. on here. Uh, chain mail gives disadvantage on stealth, right? Mm, I believe so. Yeah, because my yes. options when I started were either chain mail or scale mail, so I picked scale mail. Because it sounded cooler, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, I'll stick with my, my armor then. Yeah, I'll grab a leather just because it's not heavy and just in case it needs to be stealthy. It's better than just fucking clang, 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 clang. Like me. Yep. You might want to grab leather as well. Just in case. Fine. You're only a few pounds. It's not going to break your back. Okay, fine. Yeah. I'll grab a leather armor as well. Okay. And you have time. You're on this ship for a while. You do have to sail. Hey, would you mind putting studs on this? <laughs> oh my god, I could. <laughs> It's for my Mr. Aspect. Artificer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of cool artificer shit can I do while we're on this thing for weeks or whatever? Right. <laughs> Are either of you two looking for anything while you're down here in the armory? Um, permit. There's not- a, but yeah, there's nothing that I really need. Um, so I would kind of just be like down there, just like looking, seeing if I see any like magical items. You wouldn't see any magical items, but you would <coughs> find a mirror. Um, being um. used to seeing your reflection in murky water, upon looking at yourself, you notice that your skin has become slightly transparent. My, my skin? Your in skin in this mirror has become transparent. Is it transparent outside of the mirror? Yes, but you all wouldn't notice this is particularly different. Like, can I touch my reflection? Yeah, you can. it's a, it's a mirror. It's a normal ass mirror. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but, like, if I touch it, like, does it, like, give, like, force back? No. It spins slightly as this mirror can just go, you know, face two directions. Um, like, you can turn it to face backwards or turn it to face forwards. Um, and otherwise, oh. it is straight up just your reflection, you are the only person, when you look into this mirror, that is slightly transparent. Um, you also notice that your your snout has shrunk slightly. Do frogs have snoots? Uh, they have snoots. <laughs> I kind of. Um, and this is the back side of the mirror? No, this is just the front. Like, this is just your reflection. Oh, okay. You are weirded out by this. Mm-hmm. Because you're very much used to yourself being much more, you know, frog-like. Yeah. Much more poison dart-like. Poison dart frog-like. Mm-hmm. Um... Instead of having those like really hardcore colors, it's like you faded a little bit, and your snout isn't like long and you know defined. It's much more like mushed, m- much more like it's coming to together more, like pushing towards your face. Uh, I would like to try to flip the mirror around to its other side. Okay, the, the back side of the mirror is just a um, wooden, it's like a dark oak. Are there, is there any writing on it? No. 
Um, I'm taking. I take the mirror off like the wall. I, I assume it's on the wall. It's not on the wall. It is. Um, it is just a mirror that the crew would use to just kind of like look at themselves in the armor, see if they got the dyes correctly, because there's you know different mixing mixing areas and stuff to like you know, really get the color that you want. Um, mm -hmm. And this is just a you know let me look and see if I like see what I look like mirror. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Roll an insight check. Uh, ten. Ten is it actually enough? I'll give I'll give it to you. This is not a magical mirror. Uh. Something is happening to you. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn to everyone that's down here and be like. Uh, if you ever dye your armor, you can see what it looks like over here. <laughs> <laughs> so I spent like five minutes just staring at this mirror. <laughs> okay. Are there... Do I have any crew that are proficient in woodworking tools? Yeah. Are there, is there large pieces of lumber and woodworkers tools on the ship? That, I, would, that would be basic tools to Oh like, wait, you're proficient in all tools, huh? There would be basic tools to, you know, try and make beams and stuff to like fix whatever happens on the ship if you run into something there's you know sheets of wood mm, that you could okay. use to repair that mm, probably not what I'm looking for yeah I am proficient I get double proficiency in tool checks oh. um, or expert I have tool expertise uh, and I can also use my um any my thieves tools or any artisan tools to make the tools that we need. So if there are woodwork, if there are not woodworkers tools here, I can make them. Okay. Oh. I'm yeah, handy that the, way. We just need the material. Yeah. For the mask. I can't do any the, of that. I'm not like a creation. <laughs> what kind of materials do you need? Um, large chunks of wood to carve um, butts. a figure. Yeah, <laughs> we can put a butt on the back. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I meant to make the tools. Because how are you gonna? What do you make the tools out of? Because if you need the tools, magic. If you don't make the tools. You can just create them out of thin air. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Okay. Yep. Uh, the tools are not magical, though they are the product of magic, and they vanish when I make a new set of tools. So basically, I'm just gonna, I just like sit there for an hour, um, kind of like, uh, what, because I am an alchemist, I make them through like creams and potions and stuff like that. So I'll get my little, my little cauldron out and, you know, pour some stuff in, and I'm literally like creating, uh, you know, the tools. Sweet. That's how I do it. In case you're wondering. Real quick, as you have a heading, you want to go southeast. Yes. Can I have everyone roll a d20? Oh, God. A two. Fuck. I got three. So it's going to have to be me. It's going to have to be me. It Ten. has to be you. Ten. Can you roll me a d100? Oh, that you roll a 10. Lost. <laughs> 26. 26. Anyway. Hydra! We're lost! Kraken! <laughs> Crackhead? Um, Crackheads? <laughs> no, Kraken. <laughs> oh, I was like, Crackheads? <laughs> 
You got crack two. in, crack in. <laughs> <laughs> crack in is singular, crack in is plural. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that'll, you'll find out about that in a little bit. Um, anything else you guys want to look at on the ship or do while you're here? Yeah, I want to look at what weapons are equipped to the deck. Or to the, to the gunnery, not the deck necessarily. It could be the deck or it could be the gunnery. I'm not very good at the ship. I was like, I know there's the ballista, but that was his ship. Yeah, that's my ship. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, there are a good number of cannons on both sides. There are ballista on top. Affixed to the hull of the ship itself, is multiple buckets of this tar-like substance um, that rest right below the ballista. Okay. Fancy boarding stuff? What's your friend? No. Uh, Well, roll me and... What would or I roll? To dip, in the, dip the ballista bolts in and set fire to other ships? It's something very similar to that. You would just light the tar. Um, and upon inspecting the... Okay. Upon inspecting the bolts that are right next to the ballistas, you notice that they have a wax coating on the um, arrowhead, um, which is flammable. So you would light these um, these buckets. They would stay lit. You would put the ballista oh. in. It would light the ballista. Oh. And you shoot a flaming spear into something. That is, that is awesome. That is cool. so much more expedited than dipping and lighting. And, yeah. It's pretty cool, yeah. And it can also be used as you're thinking. Um, a bucket full of hot tar on fire if someone's below, you can just <laughs> slice that <laughs> thing. Yeah. Um, like anti-siege um, defense systems for like night stuff. Yeah. yeah in like old, old in time movies where they, <laughs> they have like a bucket of tar and they will like drop them on the, on the gates, on the palisades. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be used for that, but that isn't their, ma- like their main purpose. Okay. Um, I just want to. Is there any um, room on the sh- ship that is not necessarily being used that I could like kind of set up to be like my little on the go laboratory once we get my stuff? Yeah, there are. Um, the, so there's three floors. There's the deck. There's a middle floor, and then there's this armory down below. On the middle floor, there's two hallways. Um, each room is fairly small. But there's a fuckload of them. Um, like, too many for your purposes. Your crew is nowhere near big enough to fill this out. So, we'll just say, like, as you're walking around, Balthazar's with you, and he's like, we're just going to start busting walls out. And <laughs> that way you can have, like, double rooms, which would be more like... A half room, probably. <laughs> yeah, like, half of that room. Um... <laughs> They would be like long and you would be able to, you know, you'd be able to turn any of those into a lab. Fucking ships are so fucking tiny. Yeah. I've thought about um, being a um, cruise bartender before because you make a lot of fucking money, but I don't think I could fucking work up in a room that tiny. No idea how small the crew, the cruise crew ship tiny rooms are. Yeah, they're definitely not the cabins that you would get as a guest. <laughs> um, and then yeah, at some point Balthazar looks at you and he's like, "Have you figured out what this is? What's with the feathers, Ambrose? What what is this?" I don't I don't know. But... They to figure it out. So just feathers. It's like I wasn't paying attention. This large. It looks like a sail, like that's oh, been wrapped up, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. just 
feathering. Their wings. Um, <laughs> yeah, surely they're, uh, yeah, Captain, they're, they're wings for the ship. Um, they make the ship go zoom, zoom, probably. I don't know. Lift it up. All right. I want to see it. Or, I don't know what the thing is. It is a, one person pulls and one person climbs up and holds it and then p- puts it up. Oh, okay. I'll, um, I'm going to get Blutus to do the, like, thing and I'll fly up and. He's cranking. You're, you're pulling up this. It's heavy. Mm-hmm. Strength check. Um, <laughs> no thanks. Oh, that's not that's not terrible. That will be a uh, oh, that's a saving throw. Oh, just um, okay, yeah. So that's a nineteen. That's great. Yeah, you fly up and you find these really, really like delicate hooks that are up here. Oh, um, these are gonna break. <laughs> not delicate in, as in like break, breakable. Oh, like okay. as in like the way that you hook it onto this is. Not going to destroy the, the, the sail that you're putting oh, Okay, on. gotcha. Hey. Um, yeah, this appears to be, um, as you're like holding them and feeling them, um, and are from a very magical place. I'm going to give you a little bit of a, bon- a boost on this one. Okay. Um, roll me an animal handling check. Oh, Jesus. Guidance. Thank you. <laughs> Feel guided. Be guided. I am guided. Do how you do it. This how you do it. Because I have a negative one. 15, 14, 15, 17. <laughs> 17. Okay. This appears to be like a Pegasus feather. Oh. Um. As soon as you finish clamping or hooking, I don't exactly know what to call this. As soon as you finish putting this I've never up, done hooking. <laughs> as soon as you finish I'm putting turn this my up, tricks. <laughs> you feel the boat lurch. Oh. And you are basically moving at double. Oh my pace. gosh. I'm going to zoom directly down because I'm flying, so I just kind of imagine goes like away from me. And I'm like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> It is Unless it's like a fly when you're driving on the highway in a car. He just watch Empress flying <laughs> off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, a um, uh, praying mantis get on my car at the office, like you know, five years ago when I still went to the office, and it hung out on my windshield the whole time, not attached to anything, the entire drive home. It was so cute. I took it off and I put it in my garden. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and so, when you, when as soon as you do that and you get down, Balthazar is like, "This is how they caught us." Okay. Mm. Quite interesting. Uh, um, is anyone up in the crow's nest? We need. We need to know what's going on. This is fast. I'll go, I'll go. I'm your navigator. I guess I'll go. You go to the top. From your perception check. Okay, get down. Down. Good boy. Perception. 18. 18. You notice that you're coming up very quickly onto a reef. Ah! Oh my gosh! Reef! Straight ahead! I guess I'm gonna unhook this stupid thing. Okay, yeah, you're right up there. <laughs> yeah. Which way to turn? It's not like we have brakes on this thing. Where, which <laughs> way do I turn? Which, which, do I see it opening at all? How is there a reef this far fucking out in the ocean? Yeah. How <laughs> indeed. <laughs> it's not a reef. It's a kraken! <laughs> <laughs> Her name's Aretha Franklin. <laughs> you think you might be able to get around it if you go left. Left! 
Whatever that is. Hard port. I think it's port. I think it's port. <laughs> port. Hard. You hear a bunch of just footsteps going crazy. People trying to set everything up to, you know, move to port. I need a, the entire group to roll me a dexterity check. Twenty. Good thing I'm really not doing much. Twelve. Um. Is that a skill check? Technically. Yeah. Okay. Um. Because if it's a skill check, technically I can add half my proficiency. So that would be a six. What did you get, Zana? <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. You get the sail, the second sail down. Okay. And instantly feel that speed halved. Oh. <laughs> and then you feel this lurch as you hit the reef. Oh, damn it. He's not going to let us have a boat. <laughs> you don't hit it head on. You, so it's like the Titanic. You, Fuck, we just did a Titanic. Yes, however, you have a much better built ship. Okay. It is not destroyed, but you are caught onto this thing. Um, I'm going to grab my hurdy-gurdy and start playing the, the quartet song from Titanic. You, um, as, as you kind of are against this reef, you feel the boat move away from the reef. And you see the reef move up. Oh, uh... Pieces of, pieces of this break off in multiple spots. Uh, the reef's alive, everyone. The reef's alive. I'm sorry, sorry, just sorry. Two positions, position for fight. Pieces of this reef gain very humanoid-esque. They look like reefy tree ants and they start to try to climb aboard. Oh no, they're climbing aboard, they're climbing aboard. Is it like, uh, like Davy Jones's crew? Yeah. Type of thing. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. They start to climb aboard. And we'll pick up there next. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> next time. Next time we will be dealing with this uh, wee little fight. <laughs> okay. Um, well, well. Jim Jar and Farha better be there because I can't play three characters again. You won't play three characters again. They will just be not there. Oh, Jim okay. Jar should be here, right? I don't know. I think he said one more week. One more week? Okay. Yeah. He said two weeks last week. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we have everyone. Hopefully... If people can't attend, they tell me in advance so I can cancel. <laughs> um, otherwise, yeah. We'll do that and we will continue our journey to find some goblin pages. Go goblin scriptures. <laughs> um, you heard the, the good word. <laughs> um, yeah, so hope everyone has a good rest of their Sunday. Are we doing anything today? Yeah. And we won't right. do that until YouTube. So, um, <laughs> hope everyone has a good uh, rest of your Sunday and see you on Tuesday. Bye. Bye.